What do you think about that mouthful that he gave, though? Insane. <laughs> if you got to ask somebody all that and find out that much about you, you shouldn't marry him. And the point that I was trying to make, too, is I think there's a simpler, a lot simpler way to understand if you're dating the right person right. than having to do all of that. Yeah. I don't know if you guys are familiar with a, a guy named Craig Groeschel. No. <laughs> no? Nobody know Craig Groeschel? Not offhand. I don't know. Not by name. Okay. Not a name I know. Craig Groeschel is a pastor of Life.Church, where he has uh, dozens of chapters all over the United States, according to his, his website. His church is online, so he does like an in-person and online church you can watch online, kind of like yours. And he has an app. And according to him, this is, his app is the most downloaded app in Bible app history, his app. <laughs> and he's a New York Times bestselling author, as well as a podcast host. And he's a married man and has six children. Is he white? White man. He had to be if he married with six children. <laughs> married six children. So he has a lot of stuff going on, and apparently. And he got all the people downloaded. <laughs> he must be white. He's a white man. Don't they all say that? Yeah. Most downloaded app, New York Times bestseller. <laughs> You're supposed to say it. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds good. <laughs> World's um, best coffee. <laughs> <laughs> Craig talks about the five red flags that he says to look out for in a person. Five signs that you may be dating the wrong person. Oh, and we'll start with the first red flag. Number one is this. You might be dating the wrong person when they're not consistently pursuing Jesus. Scripture gives us a very, very clear warning when the Apostle Paul said in 2 Corinthians chapter 6, verse 14, he said, do not be yoked together. In other words, don't be joined, don't be united with unbelievers. If you're a Christian, don't try to build a marriage with someone who doesn't have the same spiritual beliefs. For what do righteousness and wickedness have in common? how you parent, what you think about money and material things and your generosity strategy. And if you go to church or don't go to church. And if you go to church, do you serve in the church and are you in a life group? And what shows do you watch together or what shows do you not watch together? And do you go to parties? And if you go to parties, what kind of parties? And what do you do at those parties? And who are your friends? And how do you treat people? And how do you forgive those who hurt you? And what do you do with temptation? And is divorce an option in your relationship? relationship or is that off the table because you have a different spiritual foundation? What do you stand for? What do you stand against? What is your divine purpose in life? Why do you exist? <laughs> what? <no. laughs> That's a mouthful. You know he's like. Uh, he's scaring me with his face. He's like, what's your relationship going to be like? Huh? And no wonder you downloaded everybody downloaded and try to figure him out. What do you think about that mouthful that he gave, though? Insane. <laughs> if you got to ask somebody all that and find out that much about you, you shouldn't marry them. Yeah. That was... <laughs> because they're not going to tell you the truth anyway. Yeah. People don't tell the truth until after you get married, and then you find out the real deal. Because you can ask someone all those questions, and they're going to say yes if they really want you. And... And, but it won't be true until you find out the real deal after marriage. That's yeah. insane. Yeah. That's too much work. No, I agree. <laughs> I feel like there's like, there's less that you, you can know enough that's just enough without having to know all this stuff. Like, I feel like there's a minimal amount of, that you need to know that is enough opposed to having to ask all these things. Because that feels stressful. But how are you going to remember to ask all those I things? I know. That, that's what you I'm saying. You have a notebook with you? <laughs> and those things will become Oh, apparent. let me ask you this. Yeah. Those things will become apparent if you're really paying attention. I mean, what are you, how are you going to look to a book that old, which has, has many good things in it, but how are you going to look to it for relationship advice? How are you going to look to the Bible? The Bible is about like you and your, 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 your life, your spirit, what you're going through. To look for, to this old book for relationship advice, dating advice in 2024, it just it seems I'm a little telling guy weird. you say old <laughs> book. 
Yeah, I'm telling all the Bible thumper chatters. He's in old. I mean, we're talking about dating, man. Dating is like a thing that's dynamic. It happens in the age you're in, in a sense. Yeah, and the point that I was trying to make, too, is I think there's a simpler, a lot simpler way to understand if you're dating the right person right. than having to do all of that. Like what, for example? I don't know. I think you just know. You just kind of have a knowing. You have an insight and understanding of like, okay, this person is decent enough to where, okay, she recognizes. And we talked about this. <laughs> we got to do a big old discussion with the experts uh, last episode. But that she has to be able to see that I can see. So can she see that I can see the light? And if she can see that, then then we're good. That's all I need to know. But how's she going to see that you can see or not? What do you mean? Like, if she can, the point is that if she can see, she just needs to see enough. <laughs> <laughs> she needs to see the light a little bit, enough to be able to know that I'm seeking. So that way she's not judging me or doing all this stuff. And she still may judge, but at least she sees that um, I have the light within me. I have a uh, alternative way I, I, every dating relationship thing, always, the Christians always reference that verse, do not be unequally yoked. Right. And, and that's fine. Every that's, one of them are unequally yoked. Right. The, the, all the Christians are so phony anyway. And, they're, and with that advice or with that mindset, you get too busy scrutinizing her that you forget to check yourself that you're this phony Christian oh, trying to judge her. Oh, she's scrutinizing him. Or he's scrutinizing her. And both are wrong. Yeah. They both get married, fall into the ditch. There's no checking yourself. You're so caught up with trying to figure out whether this woman is godly and the one. That's not even what you're supposed to be thinking about. Not at all. You're supposed to be seeking first. The kingdom. I think you got to plan. Make sure to follow, like, and subscribe on YouTube and Instagram. Punchy.